G'day, welcome to Tech Math. I'm Josh. Today we're going to have a look at the 3, 4, 5 triangle, which is something which is not only handy in math class, but also in practical applications like construction, where we want to build a wall that's coming out perfectly at 90 degrees. So this is the way it works. We have a currently existing wall here, and we want to build a wall that is coming out perpendicular. That is, it's coming out perfectly at 90 degrees. But how do we make sure that 90 degrees is perfect? We're going to use the 3, 4, 5 triangle. And it works as follows. So the first thing we do is we mark the point where the wall's coming out from. Then what we do is we measure back from that point four units. Now this might be four meters, this might be four feet, this might be four inches, whichever units you want to use. Now, look, maybe you don't actually have four meters, by the way. You think, oh, I've only got two meters. I'm gonna show you how you can adapt this really simply after this part here. So we measure back these four units. Now, from this point where we're measuring the wall out from now, we get a tape measure and we roughly put it out 90 degrees. It's not gonna be perfect yet. And we put it out three meters here, okay? Or three units, whatever you do there. Now, we might have to move this to the left or to the right because this might not be 90 degrees down here quite yet. Now, we do know when it is 90 degrees, though, from this very simple thing here. The point where the three meter mark is here and the point where the four meter mark is here, if we were to measure the distance between those, it would be exactly five meters long or five units long. And hence, we have the three, four, five triangle. When this three and this four and this five is exactly right, this part down here is 90 degrees. So how would you go through and do this if you were all by yourself? The way I'd do it is I'd start with a nail right here and a nail right here, and I would attach eight meters of string, okay? Eight meters of string, there it is. And then what would happen is when I pulled these tight, this would come out three meters, and I'd be able to measure that. It would make that here five meters, and hence I would know this here was 90 degrees. So anyway, what do we do if we don't have the space to be able to do this? Well, this thing is perfectly scalable. So what do I mean by this? Instead of four here, say we only had two meters to deal with. Well, that's okay. Half of four is equal to two. So half of three is equal to one and a half, and half of five is equal to two and a half. Still works, this still here will be 90 degrees, as long as you stick to the same scales there. So we could be having the 1.52, 2.5 triangle here, okay? But this thing is perfectly scalable, okay? If you need to do that, you can do that. So the reason this all works is because of Pythagoras' theorem, which states that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Now, what does that all mean? Well, we have these two shorter sides here, a and b. It doesn't matter which one you call which, but this two shorter sides are called a and b, and the long side here, the hypotenuse, is called c. What this means is if you were to square the distance of the shorter side here, we have three squared, and we add that to the other shorter side squared, which is four squared, it is going to be equal to the longer side here, which is five squared. Let's check to see if this is true. Three squared is equal to nine, plus four squared, which is equal to 16, and this is equal to 25. So really, you could scale around just using this particular idea if you want to actually get this 90 degrees down here and you'll always be right. But if you're not right into maths, you can use the three, four, five triangle and just scale it up and scale it down. So that is the three, four, five triangle. If you like this video, please hit the like button and leave a comment telling me what you think. If you really wish to support the Tech Math channel, you can always consider becoming a patron. There is a link in the description below. A big shout out to my subscribers and my patrons. My patrons, your support is always well appreciated. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.